Hello. All right. Welcome to Neighbor Studio. Thank you. It's uh, it's great to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's like you were asking if we, uh, how many of these I've done. I feel like I've spent a lot of hours in here already. I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot more too. Um, on the grand opening day, we had, I probably did 20 mini ones, like 20 conversations. Had Mayor Maracas, Mayor John Taylor, did one with Don, just did one with Leah. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been all over. And that me and Chris Cartwright, we did our official show, Eat and Drink in the Neighborhood. Yeah. Which is because he has sponsored the, the page in the paper, Eat, Drink, Play, and Shop in the Neighborhood, too. He sponsored that for a long time. So this is going to be the extension of it. And we put out to the community, what's your favorite local burger place, right? People comment on it. And then we pick the top three. Lynette goes and gets them. We talk about burgers, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, they bring it in, but it's all like blind. We don't know what burgers that we're eating. We do a little taste test, talk about it, which ones we like. Um, and then we reveal that. So we've done burgers, we did chicken wings. And then yesterday we filmed uh, craft beer. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, just uh, great, uh, great community awareness, right? And all the great work that you guys are doing. Yeah. So we're coming in the long weekends. You got any long weekend plans or? Family time, actually. Vacation vacation starts today for me. So, oh, nice. Uh, no no real plans. Enjoy the pool. Enjoy the backyard. And, uh, uh, you know, get ready uh, get ready to have some fun with the kids. What, how many kids you got? <laughs> I have five, five kids. Yeah. Uh, 20, 22, 19 eight, six, and uh, three. Wow. I got my first kid coming December 1st. I, I hadn't heard that yet, but I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I I did witness that. Congratulations. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, baby boy coming December 1st. Very excited. Uh, you know, all the emotions leading up to it. Absolutely. That is uh, what an exciting time for you both. That's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's talk about community living. Yeah, community living, uh, celebrating our 70th anniversary this year. 70 years. That's amazing. Yeah, it's uh it's it's unbelievable. You know, I've been I've been a part of the community for, you know, uh, 25 years, 19 years up in East Gwillimbury and 7 years here at Community Living Central York. Um, and just an amazing job, you know, just uh, to to imagine how many people have been involved to over the last 70 years is is incredible. With uh what is like the, I don't want to say elevator pitch, but like if you're at, you know, a networking event or something like that and someone asks what is community living, what's, what's the response to that? I, I think for me, it's, it's, it's about the individuals you support. Uh, you know, they, they, um, they are incredible. Uh, individuals with uh, intellectual disabilities, uh, you know, I've been advocating for 25 years and uh, you feel their energy. You walk into our building. They're they're incredible individuals with great talent. You know, in in all areas of in all aspects of their life. You know, so when someone asks me about Central York, it's it's about our individuals supported. Come to our building, feel the feel the vibe. You know, and uh, go to one of our homes. Um, you know, we currently are working with thirty five employers in York Region right now, and. Uh, you know, they employ or, or have volunteer positions for or for over 35 individuals, making minimum wage or greater. And uh, there's no better way to, to bring in business than than having some of our individuals employed at, at your establishment. Yeah, absolutely. And the building is amazing, too. I've been there more than a few times. The, the barbecue we did, what what would what'd you call that? The market? Was it Christmas market? Yeah, the craft show. The, the craft annual, show. annual yeah, craft show. Yeah. I think we did a Christmas one and a fall one as well, yeah. That's always a, a fun time going there. Abs- absolutely. Again, and, you know, the uh, you know our individuals, uh, they, they uh, create some masterpiece. You know, we just had an art show, uh, you know, a month or two ago, and I think there was over 60 pieces there. And, uh, you know, each individual uh, earned money for, for, their, for, their, uh, for their art. And, uh, again, just demonstrating the, the skill sets with a, with a phenomenal group of individuals. Yeah. Uh, shout out. MPP Michael Parsa, he bought a piece for us for the office. It's hanging up in here. 
Yeah, yeah, and uh, he was at the the art show as well. Again, uh, uh, Michael, uh, Minister Parsa is doing a great job just visiting all of our, you know, organizations across the province and uh, just uh, just doing an incredible uh, advocacy work for, for all agencies across the province. And what type of programs do you have at Community Living? Give me a little screenshot of that uh, if someone wants to, you know, get involved in the programs or know someone, know someone that could benefit from the programs? Give me an overview of the programs that you got. Yeah, thanks, Miles. I, I think, you know, most popular right now is our evening and weekend programs, you know. Um, there's so many individuals and families in need of programming. So if, uh, you know, if I was going to uh, throw a shout out to, to any, anyone looking for opportunities, I would, I would focus on our evening weekend programs. You can check out our website, www.clcy.ca or info at clcy.ca. Um, they're, they're popular programs. They're, they're based on, you know, uh, community. They're based on, you know, social uh, individuals have a great opportunity to meet others. And uh, it's, it's really popular program. Um, as, as well as, uh, as I mentioned, our employment program. Um, any individuals that are looking for additional supports, uh, we have an eight-week employment skill-based program, um, you know, to help individuals prepare for that next job, that next career. Uh, that's another another popular program that I would recommend to families and individuals. Yeah, that sounds like a cool program. So I'm an individual getting ready to maybe have my first job ever. This program is kind of build the skills kind of leading up to that, what they what they can expect and kind of prepare them for that. Yeah, absolutely. Starting, you know, starting from uh, building a cover letter and a resume, leading into how to prepare for an interview, uh, you know, based on the the job description, um, even even staff supports, uh, you know, with in 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 uh, in place uh, in employment. Uh, you know, if uh, individual, you know, we all have our ups and downs of life, and and you know, I wish I had additional supports at times to come in and help me uh, with certain uh, responsibilities that I have within my role. Right, so it's it's a really successful program based on uh, not not only do you have amazing individuals that uh, are are great employees with great punctuality that show up every day you know that's something we're all looking for in employees but you also have our our employment team that's there to uh to help when uh, when there are challenges yeah love that and you got a big signature event coming up uh tell me about that yeah our first uh, community living central york signature event jeans and gems it's uh it's going to be rocking uh uh, you know, the Flourishing Foundation out of Stouffville uh, uh, generously uh, donated their barn to, to, to have a big, uh, you know, a big party. We're, we're, we're looking forward to everyone in Central York joining us. Um, it's, been, it's been a 70, uh, 70 long, tough years, but again, with, with great results, right? So, so we want to bring the community together. Central York is all about community, all about celebrations, and of course, every every dollar raised goes directly back into our programming and to help those individuals who are living in poverty and are vulnerable in our in our community. Yeah, I'm excited for the event. We'll be there definitely. So grab your tickets for that. Um, I've probably told you this before. But my dad always says with community living that his aunt. Marion, Aunt Marion, is it Marion? Yes, <laughs> Marion. I she brings it up now because I believe she, her license plate used to say Doke, and now my license plate says Doke ninety one. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, but uh, she's one of the original people, I guess, seventy years ago plus of being a part of the community living, uh, because her daughter Linda um, was one of the early beneficiaries of the, creating this uh, community living program. Yeah, amazing. You know, Linda. Linda's an individual that we supported for over 70 years, right? And uh, just uh, another example of an individual that lives in our community. I believe she's up in East Gwillimbury uh, in a beautiful place uh, uh, up in the country. And uh, she's involved in our community programs uh, evening and during the day, Monday to Friday. Um, you know, she uh, she's, she's, again, another example of an individual that's smiling every day. Uh, you know, and, uh, and, and such a pleasant, uh, uh, a person to be around, right. I, I come in the building every day. That's, that's the, 
you know, my uh, highlight of my day is walking in that building and feeling the energy and, and uh, shaking everyone's hand and, and meeting, you know, individuals like Linda and, and, and wishing everyone a great day. Yeah, we had a Doak family reunion. I think it was last summer at Linda came and I hadn't seen her in a while and just radiates like positive vibes. You know, as soon as she walked into the backyard, uh, you could feel like the aura of positivity around her. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's it's a contagious feeling, right? It's um, you know, I uh, it's it's a reason I'm in the sector. Twenty five years. I never I never thought, you know, I back in two thousand, I started at an agency up in East Quillenbury. I thought I'd be there for a summer, and uh, I just uh, truly enjoyed um, partnering with so many different unique individuals with so many abilities. Um, that taught me so much and my children, you know, throughout the years that, uh, that I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, uh, trade it in for anything. Yeah, definitely. You get that, you get that vibe when you co- go to the, your building. Uh, it's almost impossible not to have a smile on your face as you're walking through and meeting all the individuals. It's a, uh, it's a powerful place. What'd you do? What'd you do before you got into this industry and in sector? I, I, uh, Actually, I had a very different, uh, you know, upbringing. I, um, you know, I played hockey. I played in the OHL for a few years in London. Um, I played, I played uh, a lot of lacrosse, and and I played in the East Coast hockey for for two or three years. And uh, you know, I, 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 my background's law and security. I always thought I was, you know, going to be going to be an officer someday. And I have many, uh, many great friends that that are officers uh, that have made amazing careers out of that and keeping our community safe. But um, I always, always volunteered with uh with individuals with with different abilities so i remember uh you know the three four years i was in london um you know it was it was a it was a big responsibility uh to be involved in your community and and community started at a young age you know when i was 15 16 um i always uh even when i was in college i always went back to the local high school uh always always working with individuals you know going into the community going to malls sort of being like a big brother, you know, just helping out and, and trying to make a difference any way I could. And, and I remember the days that uh, those individuals would come to our, our games and we would bring them into the room and just uh, really, really have a great evening and, and do it up for people, right? So I think that just uh, carried along with me throughout my life. Yeah, the, uh, sports teams, they do a good job of that, of, you know, giving back to the community and kind of embedding in the community too. And I know London Knights, they have always done a, a really good job of that as well, too. And you grew up Aurelia because, you know, we live in a big world, but it's actually a small world where my business partner from Summer Skates, who I had met when I was 20, 21, I guess. And then I worked with him every single day, all day for seven years. And then left day-to-day summer skates and then, you know, did a couple of things, then launched Neighbor Media. And then next thing you know, I meet you and you know each other from childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our real our Aurelia days, 15, I guess, you know, uh, Kevin uh, was involved in that great golf player, was a pro for, for years and, you know, uh, you know, hockey, lacrosse, golf, uh, all goes in hand, right? So uh, I didn't go to his high school, but uh, had a lot of close friends that were all connected. And uh, yeah, it was unbelievable when I met you. I sort of met Kevin again at the same time. Uh, Summer Skates has done a bit of work for Central York, gave some dollars back to us as well. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's a, a big world, but a real a real small one. Yeah. Did you work at Weber's at all? I, I didn't. I was one of those ones that didn't. No, I uh, I always in my off seasons, I, I most often lived in London and then uh, one year in Columbus later on in, in, in life. But uh, uh, I only got back to uh, short visits in Aurelia and got out of there as quick yeah. as I could. <laughs> <laughs> most often it was times we were getting out of shape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember going up to Aurelia to play minor hockey. It was always tough, 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 tough. Aurelia Terriers. That's correct. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It played. I don't know if the that barn still exists, but it had like the plastic sheets that you would walk through to go onto the ice. Yeah, the community center. Yeah, the really community center. Yeah, I remember uh, I played junior at uh, my last year, Bantam, fourteen, turning fifteen, and uh, 
it it was the toughest league I've ever played in. And, uh, you know, I remember playing Barry and Newmarket and Coburg and, uh, you know, just uh, we uh, we had some uh, – there was lots of games that I was nervous to get out on the ice. Yeah. Yeah, I remember even being like 10 years old and being a little nervous playing up in Aurelia. I think as the more north you go, the tougher they got. And uh, <laughs> that was true. But – I was probably 10 or 11, a OMHA championships. We beat Aurelia. It's on VHS, so uh, I'll book that one. I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd have to call uh, our, our agents on that one to find out if that's true. I, I, I saw a lot of ribbons up in the Aurelia barn, but maybe congrats if you didn't yeah, beat yeah. us. I was an EG, EG Eagle. <laughs> EG Eagle. E- yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a wrap for this. I'm sure uh, one of many coming up. Love it. Yeah. Great job, Miles. You guys, uh, everyone at Neighbor Media, thank you for uh, supporting our community, making it more diverse, inclusive, and uh, keep up the great work. You guys You guys are uh, bringing us closer and closer together. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.